You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. All right, Dr. Steve Pachenik, I wanted to get him on a few weeks ago about North Korea, where he's been. I wanted to get him on about funding Al-Qaeda. I wanted to get him on about messing with Russia. Because he'll give you a big insider, you know, Council on Foreign Relations guy until he resigned. Exposes 9-11 as an inside job. Did the Camp David Accords. He's a psychiatrist and medical doctor. And uh, when it gets to super spooky spooks, he's it. So uh, he's going to be joining us. Co-wrote a bunch of books and movies with Tom Clancy. So Steve Pachenik's coming in on for 30, 40 minutes. Then we got Max Kaiser popping in on what's happening with the bond market. And I need to be more professional. Um, but one side of me says I should settle down and not be so angry because this is not an act. I can barely do the radio show at this point, okay? I mean, I can barely even be here at this point. Because the insanity of them bringing Ebola patients in, letting it spread, not putting them in level four facilities, they're doing it on purpose. They are not inept. And people are like, oh, well, it won't spread that bad. Uh, <sighs> I don't know what they're up to, but it's bad, okay? This is part of some big, nasty war they're about to launch. Just like the Fast and Furious in Benghazi and the open borders and the super viruses out of Latin America and the shutting down the power plants. And I don't even care about money, folks. I mean, I, I, I've always tried to have crew and members and build an operation and spend almost all the money that comes in on the operation and all my employees pay taxes. Now they've got it set up where... If I buy equipment and things, it's counted as, as like money I have. And so I'm like paying more taxes. I have to like make more money to pay taxes, not even to get money. This is new. This country's gone. I've got to go hire accounting firms like Arthur Anderson, basically. I've been told by lawyers to play all sorts of games to even make any money. And it's not that I'm even upset that I'm not making any money as I bring in record amounts to run the operation. It's that this government's so evil that in America, folks, if you are truly upper middle class and you run a, a, an operation that costs over $10 million a year to run, that they've got it set up that if you play by their rules and you pay the taxes and use the standard you know, CPA firm so you're bulletproof to not be audited, that they just take all your money and give it to the government, basically. They let you keep like 10% of it. I mean, what a screwed up nation. The United States is now 36th in the world. Came out in a big college study last month for economic and social freedom as well. We used to be number one. We're 36th in the world. Folks, we're not a free country anymore except for free speech. And now the stinking mayor is suing and subpoenaing a whole bunch of churches that criticize the city's plan to basically pay for sex changes and make the public schools have, uh, you know, uh, boys and girls in each other's bathrooms. You know how much trouble that would have caused when I was in high school? I mean, I, I, I mean I'm not a modest person, but I didn't like going to the bathroom when somebody else was in there. I mean, that's really uncomfortable. To, to be in the bathroom with girls. And it's just these pervert weirdos wanting to mess with us. I mean, can't we go to the crapper and not have women in the day? I mean, I'm getting, this country's run by a bunch of mind control lunatics. I've had it with you people, with you freaks that want to run our lives. You want to dress up like a woman, more power to you. I don't care. But stop messing with our kids. Oh, man, I'm sick of it. Leave us alone. But they crave running our lives. They crave to Rachel Maddow and all these people. They crave telling us 2 plus 2 equals 5. They crave telling us we didn't build our business as they suck everything out of us. They crave it. They crave destroying this country. They crave it. Bunch of mentally ill people. Dr. Steve Pachani's going to join us. I'm going to try to settle down a little bit. 
But uh, it's just as incredible, all the news we've got to cover here today. Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.tv. If you're watching or listening to this transmission, you are the resistance. The experts are clear. Sunlight, purified water, healthy non-GMO food, and having a good attitude is essential to a healthy immune system. But I go further with super nascent iodine X2 from InfoWarsLife.com. 50% stronger than our original and revolutionary nascent iodine formula. Coming from a deep earth crystal source that no other supplier has. Most other forms of iodine come from seaweed in areas plagued by Fukushima and other contaminants. Not our iodine. It comes from over 200 hundred million year old crystal salt deposits and is tested and proven to be completely pure. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today. See the informational videos. Read the information they're compiled. And for a limited time, when you use promo code NOW at checkout, you get an additional 5% off the entire family of InfoWarsLife.com products. Secure your Survival Shield X2 today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds, BioPQQ, is backed by major clinical studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel body armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L, BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. From the water table, to our soils, to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Well, Ebola anxiety is growing. The UN says the threat of the virus might interfere with commerce and daily routines. It's even tied to global stock markets being down and a bull's running for the exits on U.S. Treasuries. The yield on a 10-year Treasury, a key barometer of the strength of the U.S. economy, fell below 2% for the first time since the Federal Reserve began talking about removing its monetary stimulus in May of 2013 or ending QE Unlimited or QE Infinity. Yes, it's not going to be Infinity. Well, they're still going to give central banks unlimited free money. Just you're not going to be getting it. Do you call it stagflation because you have a depression in the real economy and major commodities like oil except for gold? That's up today. And you have a depression in the real economy in the West, but also in Asia to a great extent. That's growth is slowing. But then you do have devaluation of currencies worldwide. And so that's inflationary. And they're trying to throttle the two back and forth to consolidate uh, control. The central banks are not operating to build a bigger pie now. You could argue whether they were good or bad in their history. It's varied. But now, certainly, they are serving centralized interest that seek under an Agenda 21 Cloward and Piven style strategy to depress the global economy, give themselves unlimited liquidity so they can buy up world markets. So it's economic warfare, it's a consolidation, 
And it's not being done like the British Empire with mercantilism or the French system to make its colonies be subservient and poor while making the empire rich. That is a parasitic system, but still, it creates largesse for those who are culturally part of the empire or religiously part of it. This is a very centralized system. And Dr. Steve Pachinik joins us to cover the waterfront. I know he's worked on the economy a lot and worked in big banking, but a member of the Council on Foreign Relations, helped run the successful Camp David Accords, co-wrote books and made films with Tom Clancy, ran psychological operations out of the State Department, uh, advising the military and the CIA. For those that don't know how it works, the State Department pretty much runs it all. Uh, and so he is a spy spy. And, of course, worked with the Bushes and James Baker and all the rest of them. So he'll give you his unique perspective. I don't know what it is yet. You can go to stepachinick.com. I've seen some of his views. But I want to know his view on what's happening in the world markets. Clearly, they stood down with Ebola. Let it begin to spread. What is that about? About a vaccine? Uh, a political diversion? Or maybe he disagrees with me. Uh, what's happening with ISIS? What's happening with Russia? To cover the waterfront... Dr. Steve Pachinik, North Korea, where he traveled last year, reported for us. Uh, thank you for coming on with us today. Oh, it's always a pleasure, Alex. I don't know if I can bring you the good news. I can give you some of the bad news, some of the better news, but I'll try to do the best I can. Number one, the Ebola is a real problem. It's a problem that's been outstanding for quite a while, and we've done nothing about it. Once again, as I've said about our president, he's really quite failed in leadership, as you've seen repeatedly. More importantly, however, the uh, CDC, or the Center for uh, Disease Control, has really failed. And I think I would ask for Dr. Frieden, the director of the CDC, to resign immediately. He has been repeatedly wrong. He has given the wrong advice. He has approached it with... Uh, very uh, inappropriate comment. And by the way, doctor, I should add, you're not just a psychiatrist, board certified examining psychiatrist who's run major institutions. I'm not bragging, just your credentials. You're also a medical doctor on top of that, so you can speak to Ebola. Yes, correctly. And more importantly, I was trained at Cornell University Medical College between 64 and 1968 by a very competent uh, uh, infectious disease doctor, who's really the foremost infectious disease doctor, and you see him on television, that is Anthony Fauci, the director of the National Institute for Infectious Diseases. And what I have recommended and repeatedly recommended is that Dr. Frieden of the CDC resign, that the CDC be uh, placed on stand down, because they really have no, uh, they're not effective, uh, they've been inefficient. And they have no authoritative uh, capacity to demand either the city, the state, or any institution to do uh, what's mandatory. Instead, I think that Fauci, Dr. Tony Fauci, should be given executive privilege or executive authority by the President of the United States, consistent with 1892 constitutional authority, when both military powers, if need be, because we no longer have the public health service, which is not functioning, we don't seem to have a Surgeon General that's not functioning. We don't have HHS, which is not functioning. So every civilian branch of our government has just been dysfunctional, which is consistent with your argument. I don't know why you're paying taxes, because none of this is working. What is working, and I will tell you, and there's some of those who, the people out there who disagree with me, but I think it's important for me to elucidate, is that we have 4,000 soldiers that were sent into Liberia, Sierra Leone, and West Africa, not to control it, but basically to uh, maintain an institute what's called ISR, Intelligence Surveillance and Reconnaissance. Most of the drones that were used in the Afghan-Pakistani war are now used to fight diseases, and this is important now. The military has switched from a combatant role in West Africa to a very effective disease control and surveillance role where we need the intelligence that the civilians could not provide, but our military generals, thanks to Martin Dempsey, has been able to provide, and, and General Williams in North Africa, and our brave men and women who volunteered to go to AFRICOM in order to uh, monitor through intelligence, through surveillance, through data mining, and through training the Liberian army and maintaining a peace accord between the Liberian army and Sierra Leone because these two countries that are replete with Ebola are ready to fight each other. So our 
soldiers are really in a unique position that we rarely talk about. So you're saying it's a good move to send in 4,000 troops to cause, uh, to, to stop civil war and to uh, try to give uh, intelligence, humat, but also electronic surveillance. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Using unparalleled research in the development of a synergistic formulation based around the key concepts of super oxygenation, the next level in cleansing is here. With key ingredients backed by real clinical studies, the new Oxy Powder, available through InfoWars Life, was invented during Dr. Group's research on the toxification of our bodies. Many herbal colon cleansers are harsh on the body and contain cheap and potentially dangerous ingredients, oftentimes full of synthetic fillers, GMOs, additives, or worse. Gently start cleaning your body with easy capsules that start working while you sleep. Oxy powder does not require time off work, and there's no need for bad tasting concoctions. Instead, Oxy powder slowly releases monoatomic oxygen into the intestinal tract and body. Experience the astonishing cleansing power of superoxide and ozonide technology. Go to InfoWarsLife.com or InfoWarsStore.com to get started with Oxy powder, or call 1-888-253-3139. The experts are clear. Sunlight, purified water, healthy non-GMO food, and having a good attitude is essential to a healthy immune system. But I go further with Super Nascent Iodine X2 from InfoWarsLife.com. 50% stronger than our original and revolutionary nascent iodine formula, coming from a deep earth crystal source that no other supplier has. Most other forms of iodine come from seaweed in areas plagued by Fukushima and other contaminants. Not our iodine. It comes from over two hundred million year old crystal salt deposits and is tested and proven to be completely pure. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today. See the informational videos. Read the information they're compiled. And for a limited time, when you use promo code NOW at checkout, you get an additional 5% off the entire family of InfoWarsLife.com products. Secure your Survival Shield X2 today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. When you're out on the road, the last place you want to be is on the road. But if the unfortunate happens, you'll be glad you were wearing diamond gussets. There's a place down in Tennessee where they make blue diamond gusset jeans. They so pride in every stitch. Guarantee you love the way they fit. They put a diamond gusset in the crotch where you need it most. Blue diamond gussets got it. Others don't. We turn jeans inside out. Diamond gusset jeans. Made in the USA with unparalleled quality. Our Defender motorcycle jeans combine gusset comfort with Kevlar protection so you can ride all day with confidence. Order yours at gusset.com. Diamond gusset jeans got it. Others don't. InfoWars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. All I want is to have a safe and secure constitutional republic, not overrun by criminal bureaucracies, agencies, and foreign corporations that would suppress the free market and private property rights and religious rights and cultural rights because it gets in the way of their business models. We're looking at a worldwide fascist model using socialism to domesticate the population. That's the real political science angle when you read Carol Quigley's books and other globalists. They admit that. They want totalitarianism. They don't want a free market. They don't want prosperity. They don't want you to be successful. They're the opposite of Americana, the opposite of Renaissance, the opposite of freedom. And Joel Gilbert... We were the number one seller of his last film that we still sell, Dreams of Obama's Real Father. That if you haven't seen it, it's just unbelievable. My parents said that it was one of the most powerful documentaries they ever saw. They thought it was preposterous what he was saying when they heard him on air, but my dad came by and got one of them and went home and watched it last year or two years ago when it came out and was blown away. Well, There's No Place Like Utopia is his new film. It had a successful theater run. It comes out officially next month. 
right for the midterm elections, but we have it first in stock, came in a few days ago. We are the exclusive. He just gave it to us. He said, you know what? You were such a big number one seller of it last time. I'm going to give it to you first to sell with pre-orders, but it's not a pre-order. We're shipping it now. We're authorized to. He's on next week. So there's no place like Utopia. On the cover, it's got Obama looking at the public with an American flag in his hand and a hammer and sickle to his back. Uh, and it's great to show young people, great to show progressives, great to show mainline conservatives, libertarians. It just, it, it's kind of like Dinesh D'Souza's new film that they, you know, put him in prison over or basically arrested him over. I mean, he's in a halfway house right now. But it's much more hardcore and it needs to be seen. So it's available exclusively at InfoWarsStore.com. And... We're not like NPR that gets 400 plus million of taxpayer money a year and then begs for money locally. We just sell high quality products, films, books, t-shirts, supplements, water filtration systems, uh, made in America knives, stuff that I like, stuff I use. I mean, I'll go out and use a little cook stove that I buy for camping and I'll, I go, I really like this cook stove. Buy 5,000 of them and we can sell it at the lowest price out there. Or I like this dash cam. Uh, Get us a deal with these and buy 10,000 of them and get me the lowest price available and we'll even undercut Amazon. That's what you've got at InfoWarsStore.com is true free market. That's why we're able to sell you this film first because we sold the most of it. Yeah, where's Amazon right now? Sorry, unable to have it because we're even defeating them in our own little microcosm with the free market. It's a wondrous thing. So get There's No Place Like Utopia, a Joel Gilbert film, available at InfoWarsStore.com or 888-253-3139. And a subdivision of InfoWarsStore.com is InfoWarsLife.com. We have the DNA force that Dr. Group and others say with the CoQ10 uh, systematic enzymes and the astrologist root and uh, the bio-enhanced uh, pomegranate extract, Tibetan uh, extracts, just a whole bunch of key things in there. Uh, vegan zyme, bio PQQ, <clears throat> the true organic sources of this. We can even make claims about this stuff, but it's all been vetted by the lawyers and the rest of it at InfoWarsLife.com. What's patented, trademarked, certified, proven in DNA force, a true nutraceutical. What it does for the uh, telomeres, what it does for the mitochondrial DNA, uh, what it does for everything and the immune system. DNA force uh, isn't the only place I stop for my immune system and bolstering my natural defenses. We have the X2 true deep earth crystal source that nobody else has, nascent iodine, uh, that just supercharges my body across the board. So many people uh, are deficient. The, the FDA's lowered what the allowance is to almost nothing. Well, I take Survival Shield three times a day. Super male vitality, super female vitality, uh, the lung cleanse, other Herbal stuff for the throat and lungs is just watery crud, folks. This is like thick oil. The only problem is you got to clean out the spray bottle top sometimes after you've been using it because it's so thick. It aerosolizes really good when it's, when it's <clears throat> new, but you got to clean it out because it's just a whole bunch of organic concentrated herbs that are known for your health and known for cleansing and known for the immune system. So get the lung cleanse. Great when you're traveling on airplanes, you name it. Great for singers. Whenever I've got a sore throat and can't talk, boom, lung cleanse. Infowarslife.com or 888-253-3139. And lastly... For a limited time, 5% off everything on InfoWarsLife.com, the oxy powder to flush out your guts, you name it, for the immune system. InfoWarsLife.com, 5% off with the promo code NOW. At checkout, NOW, 5% off the already high quality discounted products. That's 5% off some of the specials that are already there. A lot of it's already has huge discounts and huge sales going. 5% already on all the products. Silver Bullet, you name it. Ocupower, well, so that's sold out. Infowarslife.com or 888-253-3139. Please support our local AM and FM affiliates as well. Support their sponsors. Spread the word about the broadcast. And visit 
stevepachenik.com if you want to read his in-depth articles uh, that he writes on a daily basis about things that are happening geopolitically. All right, Dr. Pachenik, again, thank you for joining us. Uh, we're going to tweet your website out again right now at Real Alex Jones for folks to get the inside take from your perspective on what's happening. In the uh, 12 minutes we've got left before break, I want to give you the floor to break down more on ISIS, where Obama's going, uh, we are seeing a global awakening. Is it happening fast enough? What do you think the political class is going to do? Uh, what's happening with Russia? What's happening with the runs on the stock markets worldwide, with the implosion on the U.S. Treasuries? Uh, what is this signifying, Dr. Pachenik? Well, let me just say thank you for the opportunity. Let me just say the good news is that our intelligence and military uh, apparatus has effectively run a very effective and sophisticated economic warfare against uh, Russia. And what was done was basically we lowered the uh, value of the ruble by 30 to 40 percent. We decreased Russia's bond rating. And now that the price of oil was literally uh, depressed by 20 to 30 dollars on Brent oil price, which is now 82 dollars. Anything below 90 dollars per barrel put Putin in very serious trouble in Russia. Now Russia has the worst stock market in the world now. Putin has to uh, he has to return from the border. He's pulling back his soldiers, and so from an economic, from a battle point of view, we've really created a new kind of warfare which has been very effective, and that's economic warfare. And you can thank the military and the intelligence community for effectively running it for well over a year and quietly succeeding. And Putin has nothing. He is basically now very vulnerable to being taken over, where there's possibly another KGB putsch in the Kremlin or FSB or whoever might be there, but basically Putin has failed, Russia has failed. And concomitantly, China is a very serious economic problem. And what you're seeing in Hong Kong is that China has uh, lowered its growth rate, which was absolutely uh, evaluated at a very high number at 6 to 7 percent normally or 12 percent. So basically what it is right now, 3%, which in effect for 1.5 billion people means that there's no growth in China. And China has a very serious problem where they now have uh, spent hundreds of billions of dollars, and I think President Xi, XI, has made a very serious mistake economically to invest that $100 billion into basically four banks, which will fund a very speculative real estate market in China, which is about to collapse. So China is now in a deflationary, in a depressive mood. Russia is in a depressive mood. And now we get to the issue of what you have always said, and we've talked about socialism does not work. Proof of the pudding is EU is completely deflated and heading into a serious economic depression. And hopefully, from my point of view, will break up. EU was never intended to be uh, uh, coagulated into one unit or conflated into one unit because it was a very poor attempt by France to control German economy. And the Germans, as usual, came out of this uh, economic malaise with force, figure, and, and technology. And therefore, France has defaulted. France's uh, rating, bond rating, will go down. Holland Day will probably be thrown out and. and uh, Planted by Sarkozy, but France is now in the free fall. The euro is falling to 125, it may go down to 115 and 10 against the dollar. So Spain, Italy, Portugal, France, and the rest of the European countries have a very serious unemployment rate collectively of over 25%, and the age is between 15 to 28 and 29. That's the working ages, and they cannot provide work. So socialism and the health care system have not been effective in all of Europe, and therefore each country now has to decide whether they want to abide by the austerity plan or not. My suspicion is that eventually unemployment will be the key factor for the breakup of Europe. There was no reason to have a supra-European council, which had no meaning whatsoever, led by Italians who can't even run their own country, and as a country which is in bankruptcy. So, 
from an economic point of view, even though America has had a depression in the stock market that went down three to four, six, five hundred points, it will rebound. In my opinion, the most important thing that happened from an economic point of view that was good news on behalf of America was something that was not covered, and that was one of the tankers that came out of uh, Texas, your great state, was the Singaporean tanker containing our gas and oil. That means that last of last week, America is now completely... ...to be able to model the battle space and to try to stop Ebola. So are you saying that's a good move by Obama? One of the few good moves? Yes, that was an excellent move, and that was initiated by our military, and Obama agreed to it. But I give full credit to General Martin Dempsey, General Williams, and the AFRICOM units, because they initiated this perspective, saying that we have to get in there very quickly, be able to contain the situation, and be able to monitor the entire battlefield of diseases and transfer all of their assets, intelligence assets, to West Africa. Eventually, I would hope that the plane flights from Liberia and Sierra Leone would cease and desist. This is absolute nonsense that United and Belgian Airlines are saying that this helps humanitarian conditions. It does not. We need an isolation. We need a quarantine area, which we have had historically since 1890 when immigrants came into the United States through Ellis Island. We then had a very effective paramilitary organization called the Public Health Service, which I don't see working at all anymore. So instead, the military took over, became very efficient, and very effective, and brought along with them Dr. Tony Fauci, who supersedes in capacity and capability Dr. Frieden, who should resign, the CDC should stand down, and now everyone should prepare their respective hospitals for the Ebola outbreak. The Ebola is a really a nasty virus. It, it, let me give you a comparison. On any unit of blood, there will be an HIV, about 10 million HIV viri, or viruses. In Ebola, in contrast, on that same unit of blood, you will have 10 billion Ebola viruses. So as you get sicker, the greater amount of viruses increases exponentially, and it spreads exponentially. So when you had that nurse who came in from Dallas last night, to Cleveland, and from Cleveland, from Cleveland to Dallas, and then Dallas to Atlanta, she had potentially infected 134 people. That's not additional 134. That's a multiplier of 134 because we're not also we're not including the vector of the airplane, where there's another 20 people who take care of the airplane, the waiting room, and all that. So what we have is an increasingly exponential epidemic that has to be prepared for. And the CDC was not prepared, was not able to contain it, and neither was unfortunately your hospitals in at, at, at Dallas, which I was absolutely shocked. Because of all the states in the union, I would have assumed that Texas could have handled the problem, and they have not been able. I'm sorry about that. Well, everybody waited around for the CDC to tell them what to do. It shows how total federalization with this bureaucracy has just turned everybody into jellyfish. They've been at, well, honestly, with all, well, CDC, everybody knows who has to deal with the CD was, was a totally ineffective, dysfunctional organization for 20 to 30 years. They are not the primary units that go into a, a epidemic. The primary units that I would use would always be the military or the paramilitary units of the public health service. But the CDC was only a consulting body that basically could give information to your local hospital, to your, your county, and your county commissioner or your governor could uh, rescind that recommendation. And clearly Presbyterian Hospital was not prepared, nor were they helpful in assessing the situation. And getting well, Dr. Feedback. Pachenik, I just read the default uh, laws and regulations. Weren't they supposed to direct uh, Ebola patients to special quarantine, bio-shield federal facilities where they now are starting to direct them? Why did they allow them into hospitals? Well, I have no idea. They should have been evaluated a long time ago because this was an issue that's been around since 1976. We knew about the Ebola epidemic already over a year ago in Liberia. I'd been waiting for it, and then that's why the military had been on standby, and they went in there. But in, in fact, there are only four hospitals. One is in Missoula, Montana, where I used to live in Montana and Bozeman, but those four hospitals did not contain the number of Ebola patients that will overwhelm the system. In 
terms of the uh, the preparatory status, it was the CDC that claimed every hospital was ready, and Obama claimed that, and that was false. So you're thinking, I'm about to skip this network break because uh, this subject's so important. Uh, Doc, I mean, you believe Sandy Hook was staged. More and more experts have come out and agreed. Uh, the Boston bombing, uh, you know, rigged. So many other events, 9-11. The open funding of ISIS, changing the name uh, from Al Qaeda, all of this is coming out. But when you look at this Ebola situation, I'm not saying it's not ravaging Africa. I'm not saying it isn't, uh, you know, living in the body longer before the symptoms show up. 21 days instead of three. It's clearly mutating, getting stronger. But it just, I can't believe that this type of ineptitude to bring in Ebola patients, they never did that before, to let people fly in from West Africa, from ravaged areas when other countries had already banned it months ago. I mean, it appears that ineptitude wouldn't be this precise at doing everything they could to grease the skids for Ebola. Are you getting any information uh, on them allowing this to spread, to kind of bring in a medical tyranny, to create a political distraction? Are there any motives for this to be a false flag? No, not really, because number one, it is very hard to create an epidemic to create a false flag. Newtown was a false flag because Eric Holder had funded a very dysfunctional governor and a dysfunctional town and a bunch of Connecticut state troopers who were just pathetic. And it was easy to create. And the scenario was nonsense. This is somewhat different. We've seen Ebola, and the Doctors Without Borders have been dealing with it for, for decades. The problem is that really the ineptitude and the fact that they're coming into Liberia has more to do with money superseding uh, the, the ability of the U.S. government to cease and desist. In other words, United Airlines refuses to stop flying. In particular, Belgium and Air France stops flying because they make money. They don't want to stop their planes from flying into Liberia and Sierra Leone. I would put a quarantine zone immediately. That's why I would hope that the, our U.S. military would impose what's called a quarantine or sa a cordon sanitaire. I really don't care at this point that Liberians come to the United States because any Liberian like Mr. Duncan is coming to the United States for only one purpose, and that is medical care. He knew very well the minute he came in here that he was infected. And in turn, he didn't really care whether he infected everybody else. The notion that the symptoms don't come out for 21, that's absurd. And, and Frieden knows that's absurd because this virus, like the AIDS virus, which, by the way, the CDC could not handle, that's why this is a history of incompetency on the behalf of HHS, CDC, the president. These are incompetent institutions that have been funded, and you're correct, you don't want to pay for them. They could not handle AIDS. Ebola, like AIDS, is an RNA virus which is highly dangerous and mutates very quickly. So immediately that we find a vaccine like we did on AIDS, that will mutate. It'll change so rapidly that it took us years. And Tony Fauci is National Institute of Infectious Diseases to be able to contain it. Now, having said all this, you can't create a massive panic. On the same hand, you can't use this for some type of political correctness. I would create a quarantine. I would not allow any flights from Sierra Leone, Liberia. I would let our AFRICOM handle the situation there. I would close off all flights and then make sure all hospitals were prepared because we're now in the flu season, which means that everybody who's going to go into the hospital or the emergency room is going to come in with symptoms of fever, headaches, nausea, and the doctors have to be prepared as well as the nurses to know the difference between Ebola and the flu, and that's going to be a problem. But having said that, I have full faith that somehow America comes out of it. That's my wishful thinking. In well, turn. sure, sure. As a medical doctor, Dr. Pachinik, who's been all over the world and 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 st and, and you know taught NBC type um, classes and things, I know in the military when you were in the military previously. What does your gut tell you? I'm no uh, epidemiologist. I'm not a virologist, but. If you've got people flying who are infectious, if you've got other Africans being issued visas to come in here from West Africa, undoubtedly, there are probably going to be hundreds of people now that end up coming down with Ebola. And if they don't immediately contain them, it'll be thousands. I think there's a pretty good chance we're going to end up with some type of epidemic. Uh, do you disagree with that? Or what's your gut tell you? 
we are in the we are in the incipient phases, the beginning phases of an epidemic. Remember, an epidemic means that it initiates at one point. It started with one man, spread to two people. Then you have 130 on a plane. You have another couple of hundred on other planes. So this is going to be spread very quickly. Now, if you were to ask me which city in the United States would have had an Ebola population, I would not have guessed. Uh, Dallas. I would have said New York, Los Angeles, Chicago. And it wouldn't take very hard for me to place a Liberian or Sierra Leonean on a plane to go to any one of those cities and to create an epidemic of Ebola. So the council officers in the State Department have to cease and desist giving visas. I think there has to be a quarantine. The notion that customs officials can put up this nonsense temperature and gauge it and say that they don't have Ebola, or that Ebola only comes out when there's a fever and they're sweating, that's absolute nonsense. It's an RNA virus. We know it transmits very quickly. And if Dr. Frieden knows differently, and he says it differently, he has no idea of molecular biology, which he didn't know about in HIV, which is also an RNA virus. Sure, they said it was anti-gay to want to quarantine people in, the, in 1979, 1980, 81. If they would have done that, we wouldn't have millions of Americans dying from AIDS. Correct, and that was the fault of the CDC. And they had no idea of what they were talking about. And now no we're against West Africans if we don't want Ebola. So I guess like we have bug chasers that want to get HIV, maybe to prove you're politically uh, correct, maybe young women should go out and ask Liberians to give them Ebola. No, 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 no. Let's not get too fastidious. The issue is it's really quite simple. We have an effective military. We have the right constitutionally to invoke quarantine at any point we want. We actually, in fact, did that, Alex. In the 1900s, when we had immigrants coming in from all over the world, we had the public health service, the military being able to sequester immigrants coming in, put them on Ellis Island for four to five weeks with all kinds of diseases, cholera, typhus, smallpox, chickenpox, and then by the time they exhibited and manifested the symptoms on Ellis Island, they were then allowed to come back into the, the uh, uh, United States. Made total yeah. sense, but nowadays that would be called homophobic or racist. We should accept all of the Ebola patients, and, and if other countries are all banning people from West Africa, the U.S. will become the repository of everyone fleeing, and, and then I think it's a guarantee that we're going to get an Ebola pandemic uh, out of the epidemic if this continues. How do you think... The CDC and Obama and others are thinking they're going to get away with their clear stand down, whether it was from incompetence or on purpose. It doesn't really matter. It's criminal negligence, in my view, Dr. Pachenik. Uh, I don't know what they're thinking. I mean, if you're right that they're really this inept, and I've talked to senior Secret Service folks, I'll just leave it at that, that have been inside, not just Bongino, but other people. Uh, you know, in person, not over any uh, telecommunications, and they tell me that they can't tell me what's going on in the White House, but they say it is over the top. And then they point out what that FBI agent said he saw in the White House uh, when Clinton was there, and they said 10 times worse than that. Well, the stuff that he brought out was over the top. I mean, it sounds to me like Obama and his controllers literally are watching Sports Center and playing golf all day. And so who is running the country, Dr. Pachenik? No one. Uh, and I said it from day one. Remember, when I first went on your show and I said there was going to be a stand down in Newtown, that he didn't kill Osama bin Laden because bin Laden's been dead for 10 years, I questioned the credibility and the effectiveness of Obama. I still maintain that. The man should never have been president. He's not qualified to be president. And she, he should resign and we should have someone else take over. That issue is standing right now. It, uh, it depends on the American public, on Congress, but we have had an ineffectual Congress. So what happens? In return, our military has the right and has appropriately acted to take over some of the functions that the President of the United States has mismanaged. ISIS, a complete creation of the CIA and our civilian capacity to create wars that we eventually fight against ourselves. I said it in a blog where we're now ending up where ISIS will end up in Baghdad, although some of the military disagree with me, they're on the outskirts of Baghdad. It reminds me of 35 years ago when I was uh, ordered by the Nixon administration to debrief uh, General, uh, Ambassador Martin in the evacuation of Saigon. And so we have created the monster like CIA created the Viet Minh. 
Viet Cong, and then eventually the military had to go in, and we lost the war. We've lost another war. We've lost wars after wars after wars. It's not just Obama who's incompetent. Bush Jr., Clinton. So the question is, what does America want, and what is it willing to fight for? We can complain as much as we want, but from day one, when you and I got together 12 years ago, and I've always respected your courage, your bravery, and some of us call us, you know, out the outlier, and I don't particularly care what they say. Everything you and I have said has come out true. It really has. Dr. Pachinik, stay there. I want to finish up on the economy, on North Korea and Russia. We're on the march. Stay with us. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Using unparalleled research in the development of a synergistic formulation based around the key concepts of super oxygenation, the next level in cleansing is here. With key ingredients backed by real clinical studies, the new Oxy Powder, available through InfoWars Life, was invented during Dr. Group's research on the toxification of our bodies. Many herbal colon cleansers are harsh on the body and contain cheap and potentially dangerous ingredients, oftentimes full of synthetic fillers, GMOs, additives, or worse. Gently start cleaning your body with easy capsules that start working while you sleep. Oxy powder does not require time off work, and there's no need for bad tasting concoctions. Instead, Oxy powder slowly releases monoatomic oxygen into the intestinal tract and body. Experience the astonishing cleansing power of superoxide and ozonide technology. Go to InfoWarsLife.com or InfoWarsStore.com to get started with Oxy powder, or call 1-888-253-3139. The experts are clear. Sunlight, purified water, healthy non-GMO food, and having a good attitude is essential to a healthy immune system. But I go further with super nascent iodine X2 from InfoWarsLife.com. 50% stronger than our original and revolutionary nascent iodine formula, coming from a deep earth crystal source that no other supplier has. Most other forms of iodine come from seaweed in areas plagued by Fukushima and other contaminants. Not our iodine, it comes from over two hundred million year old crystal salt deposits and is tested and proven to be completely pure. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today. See the informational videos. Read the information they're compiled. And for a limited time, when you use promo code NOW at checkout, you get an additional 5% off the entire family of InfoWarsLife.com products. Secure your Survival Shield X2 today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. When you're out on the road, the last place you want to be is on the road. But if the unfortunate happens, you'll be glad you were wearing diamond gussets. There's a place down in Tennessee where they make blue diamond gusset jeans. They so pride in every stitch. Guarantee you love the way they fit. They put a diamond gusset in the crotch where you need it most. Blue diamond gussets got it. Others don't. We turn jeans inside out. Diamond gusset jeans. Made in the USA with unparalleled quality. Our Defender motorcycle jeans combine gusset comfort with Kevlar protection so you can ride all day with confidence. Order yours at gusset.com. Diamond gusset jeans got it. Others don't. InfoWars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. All I want is to have a safe and secure constitutional republic, not overrun by criminal bureaucracies, agencies, and foreign corporations that would suppress the free market and private property rights and religious rights and cultural rights because it gets in the way of their business models. We're looking at a worldwide fascist model using socialism to domesticate the population. That's the real political science angle when you read Carol Quigley's books and other globalists. They admit that. They want totalitarianism. They don't want a free market. They don't want prosperity. They don't want you to be successful. They're the opposite of Americana, the opposite of Renaissance, the opposite of freedom. And Joel Gilbert... We were the number one seller of his last film that we still sell, 
dreams of Obama's real father. That if you haven't seen it, it's just unbelievable. My parents said that it was one of the most powerful documentaries they ever saw. They thought it was preposterous what he was saying when they heard him on air, but my dad came by and got one of them and went home and watched it last year or two years ago when it came out and was blown away. Well, There's No Place Like Utopia is his new film. He had a successful theater run. It comes out officially next month, right for the midterm elections, but we have it first in stock, came in a few days ago. We are the exclusive. He just gave it to us. He said, you know what, you were such a big number one seller of it last time. I'm going to give it to you first to sell with pre-orders. But it's not a pre-order. We're shipping it now. We're authorized to. He's on next week. So there's no place like Utopia. On the cover, it's got Obama looking at the public with an American flag in his hand and a hammer and sickle to his back. Uh, and it's great to show young people, great to show progressives, great to show mainline conservatives, libertarians. It just it, It's kind of like Dinesh D'Souza's new film that they you know put him in prison over or basically arrested him over. I mean, he's in a halfway house right now. But it's much more hardcore, and it needs to be seen. So it's available exclusively at InfoWarsStore.com. And we're not like NPR that gets 400-plus million of taxpayer money a year and then begs for money locally. We just sell high-quality products, films, books, T-shirts, supplements, water filtration systems, uh, Made in America knives, stuff that I like, stuff I use. I mean, I'll go out and use a little cook stove that I buy for camping and I go, I really like this cook stove. Buy 5,000 of them and we can sell it at the lowest price out there. Or I like this dash cam. Uh, get us a deal with these and buy 10,000 of them and get me the lowest price available and we'll even undercut Amazon. That's what you've got at InfoWarsStore.com is true free market. That's why we're able to sell you this film first because we sold the most of it. Yeah, where's Amazon right now? Sorry, unable to have it because we're even defeating them in our own little microcosm with the free market. It's a wondrous thing. So get There's No Place Like Utopia, a Joel Gilbert film, available at InfoWarsStore.com or 888-253-3139. And a subdivision of InfoWarsStore.com is InfoWarsLife.com. We have the DNA force that Dr. Group and others say with the CoQ10 uh, systematic enzymes and the astrologist root and uh, the bio-enhanced uh, pomegranate extract, Tibetan uh, extracts, just a whole bunch of key things in there. Uh, vegan enzyme, bio PQQ, <clears throat> the true organic sources of this. We can even make claims about this stuff, but it's all been vetted by the lawyers and the rest of it at InfoWarsLife.com. What's patented, trademarked, certified, proven in DNA force, a true nutraceutical, what it does for the uh, telomeres, what it does for the mitochondrial DNA, uh, what it does for everything and the immune system. DNA force uh, isn't the only place I stop for my immune system and bolstering my natural defenses. We have the X2 true deep earth crystal source that nobody else has, nascent iodine, uh, that just supercharges my body across the board. So many people uh, are deficient. The, the FDA's lowered what the allowance is to almost nothing. Well, I take Survival Shield three times a day. Super male vitality, super female vitality, uh, the lung cleanse, other herbal stuff for the throat and lungs is just watery crud folks this is like thick oil the only problem is you got to clean out the spray bottle top sometimes after you've been using it because it's so thick it aerosolizes really good when it's when it's <clears throat> new but you got to clean it out because it's just a whole bunch of organic concentrated herbs that are known for your health and known for cleansing and known for the immune system so get the lung cleanse great when you're traveling on airplanes you name it great for singers Whenever I've got a sore throat and can't talk, boom, lung cleanse. Infowarslife.com or 888-253-3139. And lastly, for a limited time, 5% off everything on Infowarslife.com, the oxy powder to flush out your guts, you name it, for the immune system. Infowarslife.com, 5% off with the promo code N-O-W. At checkout, N-O-W, 5% off the already high-quality discounted products. That's 5% off some of the specials that are already there. A lot of it's already has huge discounts and huge sales going. 5% already on all the products. Silver Bullet, you name it. 
Occupower, well, that's sold out. Infowarslife.com or 888-253-3139. Please support our local AM and FM affiliates as well. Support their sponsors. Spread the word about the broadcast. And visit stepachenik.com if you want to read his in-depth articles uh, that he writes on a daily basis about things that are happening geopolitically. All right, Dr. Pachenik, again, thank you for joining us. Uh, we're going to tweet your website out again right now at Real Alex Jones for folks to get the inside take from your perspective on what's happening. In the uh, 12 minutes we've got left before break, I want to give you the floor to break down more on ISIS, where Obama's going, uh, we are seeing a global awakening. Is it happening fast enough? What do you think the political class is going to do? Uh, what's happening with Russia? What's happening with the runs on the stock markets worldwide, with the implosion on the U.S. Treasuries? Uh, what is this signifying, Dr. Pachenik? Well, let me just say thank you for the opportunity. Let me just say the good news is that our intelligence and military uh, apparatus has effectively run a very effective and sophisticated economic warfare against uh, Russia. And what was done was basically we lowered the uh, value of the ruble by 30 to 40 percent. We decreased Russia's bond rating. And now that the price of oil was literally uh, depressed by 20 to 30 dollars on Brent oil price, which is now 82 dollars. Anything below 90 dollars per barrel put Putin in very serious trouble in Russia. Now Russia has the worst stock market in the world now. Putin has to uh, he has to return from the border. He's pulling back his soldiers, and so from an economic, from a battle point of view, we've really created a new kind of warfare which has been very effective, and that's economic warfare. And you can thank the military and the intelligence community for effectively running it for well over a year and quietly succeeding. And Putin has nothing. He is basically now very vulnerable to being taken over, where there's possibly another KGB putsch in the Kremlin or FSB or whoever might be there, but basically Putin has failed, Russia has failed. And concomitantly, China is a very serious economic problem. And what you're seeing in Hong Kong is that China has uh, lowered its growth rate, which was absolutely uh, evaluated at a very high number at 6 to 7 percent normally or 12 percent. So basically what it is right now, 3%, which in effect for 1.5 billion people means that there's no growth in China. And China has a very serious problem where they now have uh, spent hundreds of billions of dollars, and I think President Xi, XI, has made a very serious mistake economically to invest that $100 billion into basically four banks, which will fund a very speculative real estate market in China, which is about to collapse. So China is now in a deflationary, in a depressive mood. Russia is in a depressive mood. And now we get to the issue of what you have always said, and we've talked about socialism does not work. Proof of the pudding is EU is completely deflated and heading into a serious economic depression. And hopefully, from my point of view, will break up. EU was never intended to be uh, uh, coagulated into one unit or conflated into one unit because it was a very poor attempt by France to control German economy, and the Germans, as usual, came out of this uh, economic malaise with force, figure, and, and technology, and therefore France has defaulted. France's uh, rating, bond rating, will go down. Holland Day will probably be thrown out and... In, in, uh, planted by Sarkozy, but France is now in the free fall. The euro is falling to 125, it may go down to 115 and 10 against the dollar. So Spain, Italy, Portugal, France, and the rest of the European countries have a very serious unemployment rate collectively of over 25% and the ages between 15 to 28 and 29, that's the working ages, and they cannot provide work. So socialism and the health care systems have not been effective in all of Europe, and therefore each country now has to decide whether they want to abide by the austerity plan or not. My suspicion is that eventually unemployment will be the key factor for the breakup of Europe. There was no reason to have a supra 
European Council, which had no meaning whatsoever, led by Italians who can't even run their own country, and is the country which is in bankruptcy. So from an economic point of view, even though America has had a depression in the stock market that went down three to four, six, five hundred points, it will rebound. In my opinion, the most important thing that happened from an economic point of view that was good news on behalf of America was something that was not covered, and that was one of the tankers that came out of uh, Texas, your great state, was the Singaporean tanker containing our gas and oil. That means that last of last week, America is now completely 100% free of any external need for gas or oil. We are shifting away from oil. That means the oil companies in Texas will not do well. They know that. And instead, the gas companies will uh, increase in capability and capacity, and we are now a net exporter of gas and oil to all countries in the world. So we are self-sufficient. Economically, even though we don't look as if we're doing well right now, we will rebound for the simple reason that you and I have always said, we are an entrepreneurial country where we can turn around on a dime. We can create a business in four days for four hours. And as you said, even though we have to pay the taxes or we can avoid the taxes, we know how to create businesses, which is very similar from the rest of the world. So from that point of view, we have, we're doing very well. We will rebound on the stock market. It, it needed a correction. Actually, the next two weeks will be the most important two weeks where we will see that rebounding element, and it will come into a new segment. Oil and gas and energy will no longer be the primary drivers of our economy. It will probably be the game changers like innovation, uh, uh, e-systems, or, or anything dealing with the Internet and information capacity. All right, let me just stop you for just a moment because oil exploration is at all-time highs here in the U.S. As you know, we're the number one producer and exporter now in the world. That only seems to be gearing up, so I don't... I don't understand your, your, your perspective there on that won't be central anymore. It looks to me like it's getting more central. I'm not disagreeing with you. I know that we're on the cutting edge of technology. But it's the overall point that we're doing well, we're doing good. I get that China is a criminal, psychopathic group uh, that's running it. I get that Russia is a bunch of failed mobsters running it. But it doesn't mean that I agree with George Soros, you know, in there overthrowing Ukraine and starting stuff with Russia to then force it into an implosion. It's the worldview that we do well and everybody else does bad. Our very, I'd buy into that maybe, it, at least intellectually I would understand it. If they weren't trying to shut down the free market here, jack up taxes here, I would get a predatory view if the, the super predators didn't prey on us. It, it's just, it, it's, so I don't even buy into, there's three power blocks, it's more like globalist feeding and manipulating like you know, chaos or specter over the whole operation, and I see America losing the moral high ground. I mean, I see our military saying no to Obama, wanting to back Al Qaeda openly in Syria, but they still ends up happening just by changing the name. So, whereas I do see a lot of virtue in the military compared to the general public, those even know what planet they're on. I see the you know our salvation and destruction. The seeds are both there. So I get your perspective. They're trying to help U.S. interests by doing all these things, and it does end up helping us to a certain extent. At least it did in the past. These were policies for the American people. Now, I see di uh, different elements working against each other more than ever within the Anglo-American establishment. That's what I'm trying to get at, Dr. Pachenik, is that I see America becoming just as immoral as the Russians or the Chinese. Well, morality was never a key issue in foreign policy. What has been the key issue of foreign policy for the United States, Alex, has always been we're not interested in friends or enemies. It's what our interests are. What are the American interests at this particular time? No, I know, but a lot of what our so-called government does flies in the face of our interest. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Our American interests have nothing to do with the Middle East. We've been pulling out of the Middle East, and we have been shifting Asia, because our interest right now is with the growth and expansion of a China. Okay, well, let me tell you this then. Tell us from your, talk to us like we're five years old, because I know you've been, you know, on the inside. What, what are the power blocks in the U.S. right now? Who's dominant? Because I see a lot of tug of war going on over the levers of power. That's why I think Obama's paralyzed. 
but I mean, correct me if you think I'm wrong. What are the power blocks? They're, they're, the power blocks are not the Council on Foreign Relation or the American Atlantic Council or all the things that people think about. The real power blocks in the United States are the same power blocks that Stalin said came out of a gun. Whatever comes out of a gun, that firepower, is what con consists of power. The firepower that we have in the American military and its capability to span over 220 countries, 730 bases, is very formidable. Our capability to assess the intelligence capabilities, be it failures, and I'm the first one to even complain about it, is quite formidable. Those are the, those are the two major sui generis power blocks. The president of the United States is not relevant. Absolutely irrelevant. Has been irrelevant for the past 30 years. Because the devolution of power, thanks to you and others, has come to the governors. The governors of every state have become more and more important. And they have to start exercising their power. That's correct. But you have to choose governors who've had experience in managing a huge system. We didn't choose that. We didn't choose the president who knew how to, uh, to manage large systems. We've chosen presidents who've gone on television with this Mickey Mouse show and have had no experience whatsoever, all the way back to Obama, Bush Jr. Well, we do see the military brass more and more not following the orders of the president. That is that is unprecedented. I want to f f end up on that with you on the other side, see if you agree with that or, or, or where you see that going. But, I mean, we've had Dempsey telling the chairman of the Joint, uh, telling the chairman of the Senate Armed Service Committee you know, that he's full of it, telling Obama he's wrong. That is that is wild. We'll be right back. This hour brought to you by InfidelBodyArmor.com. When it hits the fan, don't be left without the body armor that will save your life. With prices starting at just $374.99 and ships free. Get yours at InfidelBodyArmor.com. Just won't quit. <gasps> hey, Boomer. I learned in school today that 60% of our bodies are made of water. Good thing we have the Berkey system. It's the cleanest, best water ever. Mom says it's because the Berkey's filtration system cleans out the bad stuff and leaves only pure, delicious water. I know, right? You love it, too. Yeah, I'm thirsty, too. Let's go get some. Get Berkey clean water by calling 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Or visit GoBerkey.com. Hi, Ted Anderson with Midas Resources. Is it time to convert paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver yet? Get our 10 Reasons book free. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds, BioPQQ, is backed by major clinical studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula. Super male vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I look forward to waking up and taking my super male vitality. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your super male vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. We all have our own idea about what being safe and secure means. The door's locked, bills are paid, you've got a job that keeps the lights on, and a home to call your own. But what happens when Mother Nature throws a curveball? I'm telling you, yeah, take cover. Take cover. Are you prepared to live without electricity or passable roads for weeks at a time? Do you even have a plan B? If you do, are you willing to bet your life on it? Children left with no homes. And no one's coming to help them. Help them. The first step towards self-reliance in the face of disaster is a visit to MyPatriotSupply.com. There you'll find the absolute best prices on storable foods, non-GMO seeds, emergency water filtration devices, and so much more. All orders over $49 qualify for free shipping in the lower 48 states. Call 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. And speak to one of our preparedness advisors today or visit us at MyPatriotSupply.com. Remember, before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. Trying to get a
across to listeners. I grew up in a house where we read history books. We were into what had happened in the world. I learned that history was incredibly exciting. Studying government was incredibly exciting. Studying military history was incredibly exciting. And I'm not even that smart of a person. Then I realized the general public does not even know the three branches of government on average. People are getting more and more disconnected, but they don't trust the system at the same time. But they're still like fish out of water. They're so ignorant. So you've got a political class <laughs> that's been feeding on that and getting away with bloody murder, but also smoking their own dope and becoming incompetent themselves. You can't have that in an age of nuclear weapons and drones and <coughs> flesh-eating bacteria and Ebola. And I just hope that this political elite hits the panic button and pulls up. Uh, you know, Dr. Pachinik can say, well, there's nothing really moral <coughs> in geopolitics. Well, I get the Machiavellian view. But at a certain point, if you don't have moral authority, you don't have anything. I don't even buy into the Machiavellian view, and I'm not accusing you, Doc, of, of being Machiavellian. Uh, I think the you know, true moral high ground is the way to go. It creates prosperity. It creates security. History shows that. I see the military as the most awake group. I don't lionize the military when it's involved as an instrument of evil in, in many cases. I just have studied things and found it is one of the only large reservoirs of people that are dedicated and, and, and listen to me. So I don't get the paradox of the military doing all these evil deeds for the globalist, sometimes doing good, but then loving me, showing that they do support the Second Amendment and, and so many things. And it's clear there's a power struggle going on, and I see the military more and more not being belligerent, but disagreeing with the worst political pimps like Senator Graham and Obama. Briefly putting bookends on it, where is the military right now stacked up against the rest of the power structure? The military has stood its ground. Dennis Clapper, the DNI, Director of National Intelligence, has refused to resign, and I'm glad that because even after Obama accused him and the rest of the intelligence community of being a failure, which of course was absurd, when they in fact were uh, briefing Obama, the military will stand up to their duty. That's our military. They, they believe in country. They believe in honor. They don't do that for money. They're not mercenary. This is not black water. But you always have to remember, Alex, and your audience has to understand, democracy is always, there's a tension between the repression inherent in the republic. We're a republic, not a democracy, and those of us who protest against it and serve it. So we have a constant tension and paradox between two elements of our republic. That's been true since the founding of our fathers. They had to have money. They had to fight against Congress. They had to fight against the homeland. But only 4% of our population fought in the Revolutionary War out of 700,000 people. That was a minor group. And we have never literally been you know, subservient to any political group. If you think a political group can dominate the United States, be it the president or anybody else, I think that's over. No, I know. I know. I mean, I mean, the Iraqis fighting back. The military couldn't even handle them. If the American people ever realize the power they have, this could all end very quickly. I think that's where the answer lies. How do we get the spirit of the American people to wake up again and start acting like free people? I think the spirit comes in from people like you and others who uh, uh, caution them and encourage them to get involved in local politics. Nothing is more effective grassroots politics, be it in Dallas or be it in El Paso. When you when you vote for a city commissioner, a county commissioner, you're beginning to affect the... Oh, yeah, we have a super patriot uh, liberty lover who's the front runner for city council right now, Dr. Laura Presley. I'm seeing it all over the country. Dr. Pachinik, thanks for the hour. StevePachinik.com, very interesting Thank perspective. You. Thank you so much. And we got Max Kaiser on the economy coming up.